guys. I'm Naomi Kyle. I'm sure that you guys have been having a wonderful day. If you have not, I'd like to forward on to you a uh, an apology for having a terrible day and a wish and, you know, positive vibes your way, hoping that it gets better. All right, let's get into what this is about, which is not so pleasant at all. Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm sure you've heard of it. This is the fourth game uh, by Scott Cawthon. I believe I pronounced that right. Anyways, he wants he wants to end this series. This isn't the final one in uh, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's one, two, and three. Four is the final one. So uh, we're gonna hop into a game. I've not played this game yet. Uh, so far, I've done a lot of uh, playing of the first three games. Uh, it's interesting to me. It's super cryptic. There's a lot of things that have been left. Uh, lingering in terms of the story and history of uh, what happened to uh, Fassbender, Fassbear's uh, pizzeria. I believe that's what it's called. Um, all right, so we're going to click on through and see here. Um, remember, these are animatronic beings. I don't know. We're going to be in a house this time. That's all I know. Uh, don't be scared. I'm here with you. Okay. So here we have ourselves, uh, which was, you know, in the first, I think the second or third game, we were introduced to um, these mini games, which I kind of like, because it gives it a bit more context. These are my friends. Okay. Interesting. Looks like he's got um, all the animatronics, but as uh, plush toys in his bedroom. And there's one there on the bed who seems to be a, a mystery. Can I open this door? Oh no, I'm crying. Maybe I hurt myself banging on the door. What's going on here? Yeah, tomorrow is another day. Poor kid, stuck in his room and with these creepy dolls around him. Okay, night one. So yes, usually uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, you got five nights. And this is night one. Uh, oh, looks like I'm walking around. Okay, not in my control at this point. Don't you think you hear breathing noise? Shut up. Okay, so we're going on uh, breathing mechanics here. You hear breathing, shut that door. Okay. And oh, see, there you go. So I, I can actually move my character, which is something that's totally new. Scott, I see that you've uh, moved on up a little bit here. I wonder what you're going to do after this. This is your final game. Please do do tell us. I hope we get some teasers soon. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Let's see what's in this closet. Hold shift and use flashlight to control. Okay, so let's see here. We're gonna crack her up. Wow, there's no. Okay, okay. Uh, is that it? I guess so. Uh, maybe close the door. No, I mean, you know, those are just simple mechanics. Okay, I'm gonna go back now. Okay, just getting used to how this this one works. So, not hearing any breathing. Let me, let me practice going to the doors here to make sure. Wait, let me move the mouse <laughs> first. <laughs> Controls are a little wonky right now. Let's see here. I'm trying to move over. Move on over. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Nice. Okay, and then so I can use my flashlight. Hopefully there's nothing there, and then we're good. Close the door like this. And do I have to hold it to lock it? What if I do this? What if I do this and lock it? Nope. All right. Well, okay. We're going to go back to the bed. Kind of scary thinking um, you can only one close one uh, entryway at a time. That is not comforting. <laughs> and I just hope... Okay. I'm going to make sure both headphones are on because I'm assuming you're going to have to go with, like, whether the sound's coming in from the left or the right. The breathing, that is. <laughs> um, what is breathing? Could be anything. It's, I mean, are the animatronics mobile now? Can they go around outside of the pizzeria? <laughs> I hope not. That would be very scary. Maybe it's a new uh, demon <laughs> creature of some sort. Uh, possessed toy. Possibly. He's got a lot of creepy toys in his bedroom. Oh. He's got, oh, oh, oh. I can use my flashlight. Let's see here. Oh, nice. That's Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Uh, whoops, let me. <laughs> uh, going back, turning back around. Hello. Hi. Hi, can you turn around, please? Nope, not working. Well, maybe I'm just stuck looking at this bear. Let's see here. Nope, nothing. Oh, click down. <laughs> Got it. The producer man helped me with that one. Uh, okay. Interesting room. We're at. 
it's 3 a.m. now. Time is important because the second it reaches, I'm hoping, 6 a.m., I am safe for the first night. And then we move on to night two, night three, and so on and so forth. Um. <clears throat> Such nice, relaxing time staying up late at night. I think I have... So if I'm a kid, and this is my bedroom, seems to me like I'm an insomniac. Cannot sleep. I'm, I'm experiencing... Oh, I hear something. breathing. Uh, yeah, I'm experiencing uh, trouble sleeping. Understandably so. Uh, this room is terrifying. I mean, it's not super... I mean, it could be worse. I guess. <laughs> I wish I could look at those pictures, but it looks like I've got a Halloween-themed picture there. Lava lamp. Hey, leave a comment below if you owned a lava lamp that looked just like that. I did. Oh. Breathe. Okay. Yes. I'm not sure which side, though. Uh, I'm just going to go check, I guess. Oh, so that's, you know, something that you're supposed to do. Nope, back around, back around. We're going to go walk. Nope, back around, back around. We're going to go walk over here. <laughs> oh, my God. Do do I even want to? Okay. Back, back. Um, back to this way. Now now comes now comes the hard part where you have to. Oh, God. Did what? Just my flashlight is dying. Okay. Oh god, uh, <laughs> I'm scared. Getting scared now. Um, I definitely don't hear any breathing, really. Nope, nothing there. I guess it's just about going back, checking the doors, checking with the flashlight. Oh god, what a terrible flashlight. Get new batteries. Come on. I mean, we don't even know. What uh? What time period? Or I mean, I guess it could be like '80s, early '90s, possibly even the year 2000. I mean, we're 15 years in now, 21st century. Hello. Uh. Okay. Why is uh? I hear noises, but I see nothing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh. Thanks. So, when I was briefed on this, I did not know um, <laughs> that this would happen. You got me. Good job, Ben Jenka, our producer, guy behind the camera. Uh, so, that's the end of our Five Nights at Freddy's 4. We got one jump scare in. Uh, my heart's still racing because uh, that was scary. I did not expect that. I was really into the heat. Like, I was determined to find what was making that noise. But uh looks like <laughs> you got me. Good job. Uh, good job, Scott. Loving these games. Excited to see what your next endeavors you take on. Um, guys, thanks for tuning in. This has been a, an IGN Plays with Naomi and more Five Nights at Freddy's coverage always on IGN. Check out our piece about the lingering questions in the series because there are a lot to be answered, hopefully, in this game. All right. See you guys soon.